the match. Morning, everyone, and um, welcome to a nice sunny Sunday. Yeah, compared to the yesterday, it's quite nice, though, isn't it? So, anyway, where are we, Sammy? We're at Warwick again. Yeah, we're at Warwick Castle for the first time since February, is it? I think it is. Obviously, we've been hitting the, the theme park, I think, quite a lot, haven't we, sweetheart? And now it's glad to get back to Warwick this year. Yeah, because obviously, we want to see the Raw or the Rose this year. It's about it's supposed to be a different show or something like that. So yeah, it's glad we could be back at Warwick this month. Yeah, it's, it's quite funny because, like I said, the Warwick's on our doorstep. It's only about 20 minutes up the road. But yeah, we tend to be going down to Legoland quite a lot, don't we? Yeah. Know, because I think that is our favourite theme I'm park at the minute. Bag today. Yeah, Sam has got his own bag with him. He's, he's sporting off here. Turn around, so you can see. He's showing off his Disneyland Paris bag yes Ben's got his as well so it's definitely not easier having a bag each for them when we go out days out rather than bring out all their school bags and stuff I so all, I got all my stuff with me yeah got your bits and pieces in with you haven't you and even with um Ben sees her own bits and pieces but anyway yeah so going back like I said it's all the Razor show really looking forward to seeing that obviously done through nights in Middle England and obviously we've got the there's a pro show to do, haven't we? Which is pretty good. Um, the trench boat show as well. So yeah, hopefully fingers crossed. It should be. I'll say it should be quiet, but it's always coming in. We've seen about no worries, about 15, 20 coaches in here. So I don't know if they've got some big major coach parties and stuff. I do not know. But yeah, anyway, yeah. So we've got our tickets here as well, which is pretty good actually, because they've got done a new way of actually doing them for pass holders as well. So and yeah, so anyway, we're just going to do this, get security checked, and then we're um, going to go in and see what we can see today. Yeah, you've just got through. It's quite quick actually. The queues seem quite big, but because you've got annual passes, they've got separate entrance, which is good. So yeah, doesn't the castle look pretty in the sun, Sammy? So anyway, yes, yeah, so we've got the Zog Trail. So we're going to get some more of these to do, so we can do these again, because it's a different pop. Do you still want to collect your pop badges, Sammy? Yeah. yeah. Have I got four there? Or have I got more than four? Five. I don't want five, do I? So, anyway, yeah, so Zog and the quest for the Golden Star. It's good how they've actually done this. What time is the Royal Road Show on half 11? The half 11, so. Going off again, Sammy? Just coming down this way, bless him. So, yeah, like I said, I think it might be a bit busy, but with Warwick, at least it's all out in the open as well, so you don't feel like it can be busy. So, yeah. Are you going to do Horror History's Maze as well, Sammy? Yeah, do our usual things. I don't means. want to thank you now already, which is Horror a fabulous show. Horror History's Maze, Time Tower, yeah. and the Great Hall. We do everything we can drive from we the We do event. everything today around yeah, the castle. So year one of oh, the Horror History's Maze will be open shortly. Okay, that's actually fine to do that in a bit. So you've got year one, Dragons Learn to Fly. So and obviously then, they're doing... Oh, that's different. They're doing photos in front of in now, aren't they? Mm. We're up for that one anyway, if we don't need that. So anyway, let's go down and get our stamp, shall we, Sammy? For year one. It's at the show times today. I've got the Legend of the Trent which is at half ten. And half one, which we've missed the Legend, which we wish the first one of that. Folks of the Crest is on at half twelve and half past three. And you've got War of the Roses on at half eleven and then half two. So that's not too bad, actually. So we're going to see the folk. We'll do is we're going to see War of the Roses at half eleven. Yes, I mean, move the way. Yeah. And then what we'll do is, once that's finished, 
we'll go and sit down by the fish and chips place, have our lunch, because obviously we've got our own pastas and stuff, which should be ideal. And then we'll go and see the Falconer's Quest then, yeah? Yeah, half twelve. A half twelve, so yeah. So anyway, off we go. Let's go down here and see what there is down here. Yeah, so we're going to see the first of all the roses at half eleven. Yeah. So let's go down. Hopefully, fingers crossed, the horror history's maze is open. Let's see what's open a bit later. But year two for Dragon's Lair. Is it Dragon's Lair to Roar? Yeah. Was it Dragon's? I think it is Dragon's yeah. Lair to Roar, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so year yeah, two. It's open, I think. Oh, horror history's maze is open. So we're going down yeah, to the maze just as well. That's in. it. So, yeah, here is. What's this one down here on Sammy? They learn. Dragons learn to roar. Go well, stand on there then, so you can make him roar. That sounds like you when you wake up in the morning, Sammy. <laughs> what about this one? <laughs> and then this one. And that blue one. What's this one, day? And this one. <laughs> that breeze is a loud one, doesn't it? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so our stamp is just over here. We're just going to get our stamp for year two. Oh, his mate is open, so we can pop in there as well while we're at it. Do you want to go and do these and Sammy? I've got my bag to hold. Oh, Connie, you got your bag to hold then. So Mummy do this one instead. <laughs> here for your maze that's it um i thought merlin said they going to stop doing the um pop badges but they still seem to be doing them you got your four you got four one two three get one more then four that's it 2020 2018 they're on this way then ben j around here they've got this big massive cog thing around here that ben likes to play with but when we brought one at home he doesn't play with it does he mm. Wanted Rassius and better not time. It would be nice if they could actually change this up a little bit, wouldn't it? But obviously, because we've done it so many times here, we know. Um, it has changed. It's not changed. I know it hasn't changed. That's what I'm saying. It would be nice if they could change it up a little bit. But I don't know how they can do that. But then, well. Go on then, Ben. You're going to play with these. You normally do. Oh no, Rassius has jumbled up time. Well, I'll figure then. Dear. History will never be the same. You could say, oh, dearie, dearie, Terry, dearie, <laughs> me. What us? Radius. It's 1666 and the Great Plague has arrived in London. Can you get from one end of the city to another? Oh, they just realised they just moved the actual little thing here to move. They've actually moved it one. What's the matter, Sammy? Yeah. Where's the stamp gone? Oh, they moved the stamp. Where's the stamp gone? Oh, there's something to say, darling, for slimy stewards. They changed it. They changed the stamp around, haven't they? So, yeah, we've just done the Hill and History with me. Sammy, got your stamps, haven't you? So, we're going to go to the shop, get your pop badge in a minute. Just going through all the port colours and. <laughs> Tell you what, what they've done here looks really, really nice. Obviously, it's the Midsummer Carnival thing. I, I, th I think it is. Obviously, they must have some sort of show. Where we go, Sammy? 
all the time things all the shows are on here as well I'm not too quite sure what sort of show they've got going on down here there you go oh here we go yeah look the battle skills training so racing the port colours which obviously we missed we did see that last time we come battle skills training the jester workshop the queen's parade the fighting show obviously rock the court and a problem noble problem so yeah got lots and lots of things on here today as well can you remember those two jesters from last year what there is today, you know, we've got all the shows and stuff here. Yeah, but now the times are so bits and the other bits, it's like everything's just colliding with each other. It is. The thing is, we've seen all these things, what we come for is to see War of the Roses, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So that's on at no. half eleven. So what we do is, obviously, it's, what is the time? Oh well, yeah, it's still doing the Queen's Parade. So, but anyway, yeah, what we do is, we'll go down and see War of the Roses. That's what we want to go and see, don't we? Mm. And then if need be, don't forget, we can all wait. I'm not too quite sure how long this is on for. This is my summer parade for actually, to be honest with you. But anyway, yeah, Sammy wants to go to the shop and get his um pop to get his two pop badges. Well look, so you can say hello to these people over here. So you can say hello to William Shakespeare and I don't know who the other one is. So go over here and say hello. <laughs> it's just think they're all done by night for the leaving, don't they? A good day to you too! Oh, yeah. Good at you! Ah, oh, full of joys! How can you not be on such a lovely day? It is lovely, isn't it? You brought yes. the sun! Well, uh, I wouldn't say it was us. I think it's probably Queen Elizabeth's brought the sun. <laughs> yes. Don't say it. We'll get in trouble if you say we've... We're just for wind bringing with the sun. I mean, you might say that you're full of hot air and wind like that, but I am at least a talented writer. <laughs> this Queen Elizabeth's okay today. She is, she's in a good mood. For is she? That's good. No one's annoyed her yet. She hasn't had to throw a single shoe. Okay, good. So, you know, though, things could change. No things heads could... of rolls. No, <laughs> That's one good thing. Change. I mean, this man is not wearing any stockings, so this could easily make Queen Elizabeth quite angry. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, Enjoy your head while you still have it. <laughs> 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 so, me and Sammy are just walking down to the Birds of Prey Arena, Shrake. Um, and the wall of the roses. Wall of the roses, yeah. Obviously, Ben's walking really, really slowly. So we will come down here, get us, get a spot for him, don't we? So we can all go down and see her. Again, it's quarter past 11. The time is just going by so, so quickly. So, you know, we didn't get here till half 10. By the time we got through the bag checks and got our passes scanned, it's quarter to 11. So we normally get here dead on for about half past nine, but we didn't get up very early this morning, did we, no. Sammy? So, I, I was having the laying. Yeah, we all have a bit of a laying this morning, never mind. So, here you go, Sammy. You find yourself going at some archery? No. That's six pounds a go. I've done that a few times and don't realise how hard it actually is. So, anyway, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get down to the Wall of the Roses show for half eleven. If not, there is um, another show a bit later on as well. So, it's just on the list. What's that, Alan? It says on the thing. Yeah. So hopefully we can get down off. They have got disabled viewing areas as well, which should be ideal for Ben. So there's a quiz, there's a um, pray quest show is on as well. So again, yeah, quite a lot of things to do, which is good because at least you do get your money's worth. Sometimes you come here, there's nothing on whatsoever. So yeah, we're just waiting for the queue now. This is the queue to get in. So I hope, fingers crossed, we can get in. We can get in the viewing area. Right. And it'll give Ben a chance then to catch up. Obviously, all you got the trench foot show over there as well. So yeah, this will, and also you've got all the summer, bit summer carnival stuff on as well. So yeah, bit a lot of stuff to do today. So anyway, we're gonna. Hello, folks. Morning. Hiya. Morning. So obviously we are regulars here. They all know us by heart anyway. So yeah. <laughs> we were asking, yeah, been back for a while, and we said no. We said we wanted to give a bit of a break because we noticed Ben's getting a little bit fed up with with it as well. So off we go to the show. Here you go, Sammy. 
That's what the castle looks like from this side, doesn't it? So we were just in the queue now That's for the well, Water Roses well, show. Well, the castle oh, well, it is, isn't it? It was built 100, 110. No, was it nine something? Nine sixty six, I think it was built. Yeah, oh, and then my castle was owned by Merlin. Yeah, they just told it to Merlin, didn't they? Because you know the, you know the fun, um, the tower, the conquest tower, yeah. a fortress thing. That's where Warwick Castle actually yeah. was built, first built. And it's all on the Time Tower, which tells you about it all. But then it's some modern Bailey Castle by it. Is it William the Conqueror or somebody or something? I don't know. But anyway, Sam knows all about it all. So yeah. Um, at least it's a nice day today, which is good. It's not raining like yesterday. We were talking to Irene about cancelling today if it was going to rain because Warwick Castle isn't the place to go in the rain, unfortunately. So, I bet it's nice today. It is nice today, isn't it, actually? I don't know why I have to take my top off, actually, my jacket off. I've got my Disney jacket on and it's really, really warm. Really, how warm it actually was, this jacket. So, yeah, so not too quite. Sammy, where's Stephen and. I said, where's Daddy and Ben gone? They're gone, man, there. Oh, no, exactly. They spoke to somebody. Next thing I knew, they was going down through their area. So, I don't know where they've gone. But I'm sure we'll find them in a second. Well, well, I've been like going to the stable where everybody shop. I think that's where they've probably gone to, actually, gone to the stable area. Come to the stable area and the shop. Here we go. Let's go around this way. Cheers on white rose. Right, folks, welcome to the Wars of the Roses. Time to decide. Yorkshire. Yorkshire's over there. Oh, my yeah. is over there. What team would you recommend? There's only one team, Adam. <laughs> white rose, just to the left over there. Um, well, should we go? Which way should we go, Sammy? Are we going for the white team or are we going to go for the red team? Daddy and Ben are there. Daddy and Ben are there. Are we going to go for the red or are we going to go for the white? Yeah, the daddy's team. Well, we're going to, are we going to go for the red team because the daddy's team's red? Okay, which is good. So, yeah, let's go down this way. Hi guys, most room in the arena right now is at the very back. So if you'd like to, if you'd like to face, keep going along. Thanks. Thanks. The current king, Henry VI, is losing his mind and control of the kingdom. Two houses. House of Lancaster! And House of York! Are fighting for the crown and control of House of York! You stand under the banner of the White Rose, and your battle cry is White Rose, White Rose, White Rose, White Rose, White Rose, White Rose. Very good, House of York. House Lancaster, you stand under the banner of the Red Rose, and your battle cry is Red Rose, Red Rose, Red Rose, Red Rose, Red. Rose, excellent work, Lancaster. House of York, your leader is a warrior renowned throughout the kingdom. Now, sir, I don't mean to intimidate, but Edward, hey, you, sir, in the sunglasses. Yes, you, sir. There you are, yes, he could, not to intimidate you, but Edward, he can cut you down at 20 paces without even breaking a sweat. I am, madam, he can lift you up with one hand and still swing his broadsword with the other. And children, he can juggle you and still keep his horse at a full gallop. Let me hear you cheer for your warrior king! Yeah. House Lancaster, are you as fearsome as these Yorkists? Yeah. Of course you are. Sir, you look like you could wave your way through an enemy rabble with a sword in each hand. And madam, are you going to swing your battle axe against all of the Yorkists? Or just the naughty ones? And children, you look like you could let loose some deadly arrows into your foes, am I right? Yes, I said, am I right? Yes, yes. Excellent. House of Lancaster, your leader is very beautiful. There are many men who would lay down their lives for her, and why, you would too as well, wouldn't you, sir? <laughs> of course you would, you dirty dog, you. But uh, do not worry, House Lancaster. She's far too virtuous for her honor to be impeached. House of York, cheer if you would steal their best horses. 
Warehouse Lancaster cheer if you would set fire to their rooftops. As your cheer if you would follow your warrior king. Lancaster cheer if you would follow your fearsome queen. Let me hear you both cheer for your houses. Oh, come now. You need to cheer louder than that to gain vast forces for your armies in three, two, one. Both houses have now gathered fine armies. I see you have all chosen your sides. And I, the Earl of Warwick, the Kingmaker, have, for now at least, chosen mine. The side that I will support is... The White Rose and the House of York! So, ready your weapons. And let me hear your battle cries once more. White rose, red rose, white rose, red rose, white rose, red rose, white rose. Let battle commence. When I first heard about the war, I was excited. Uh, to understand why, you probably need to know who I am. Well, how can I put this? I am a nobody. My biggest claim is that my grandfather was paid to the court of Henry V. <laughs> I mean, a lowly page. So yes, I am the illegitimate grandson of a servant. But, when I heard how the king had gone mad, I'm in my house, House Lancaster! Was fighting for the crown. Everything changed. Suddenly, I wasn't just a nobody. No, I was a part of something. Something big! A cheer for the House of Lancaster! A cheer for the House of York! Show your disdain for this French imposter. Els Lancaster, do not fear these Yorkists. like that. But to fight both Margaret and Edward, they needed troops. 
<laughs> lots and lots of troops. Let each of these crowns represent one of England's noble houses. Whoever gathers the more crowns will have more soldiers on their side. First, they collected pledges from the most loyal noble houses. Hello, Somerset! Behind Edward, 25,000 men! Yeah. But behind Margaret, 30,000! Huzzah! Our modern seamen, our bowmen crew, they're out. <laughs> but the wind was against us, our volley falls short. Next, our bowmen step forwards. They draw and release! Take cover, my queen! Thank you, God. Father, is it luck? The wind is on our side. And as our arrows rain down, Margaret must charge in early. Ooh. They say the sounds of Towton were terrible. Thousands of hoops driving through the mud. The fight was desperate, bloody, and exhausting. But in the midst of battle, Marcus told a message has arrived. My queen, for you. No, no, it cannot be. Edward has called for reinforcements. No. Fresh troops are nearly upon us. What can I do? No, sorry. I have no choice. We must flee! Right, Come sit behind you, my queen! My liege, 
a gift. Three cheers for our true king, Hip Hip. Huzzah! Hip Hip. Huzzah! Hip Hip. Huzzah! I'm happy for you, dearest brother. Truly. And how sweet a thing it is to wear a crown. Mark my words, brother. I will find no satisfaction until I see my shadow in the sun. I will not find purpose until all the people of this kingdom are chanting my name. Long live King Richard! And hush! No more! For now, long live King Edward. And for the first time, my family was happy. I was a child, but I remember it well. We had gold and a castle, and we feasted every day. Finally, Father had what he always wanted. He was a king, and I was a princess. But men used to war are seldom happy. Even in times of peace. Married to Woodville. I've always been your loyal supporter, my liege, but I cannot, no, I will not support this. Elizabeth! Yes, Uncle Richard? Come, your father needs you. Is he still fighting with the Earl of Warwick? You do not be scared, child. That is an old quarrel. Go quick. The quarrel is not old, my lord. I still take issue with the decisions being made behind my back, behind all of our backs. Enough, Warwick. You are just bitter your influence over the king is not as it once was. And Edward did not let you choose his wife. <laughs> and this is the wife that you would have chosen for him. This commoners was best for our country. <laughs> best for our country, or best for you? <laughs> now watch your this. tongue, Warwick. That is our queen of which you speak. Your queen, no longer mine. Henry, send word immediately. Margaret has my full support. And so, the Earl of Warwick, change sides! <laughs> Behind the king's back, he gathered money, troops, and he begged Margaret to return. She arrives without fanfare. soldiers by my side. We march to Barnet! But in the confusion of battle, many men are slain. We have now just 6,000 fighters. I watch my family get ready. They put on their heavy arms, put the vices on their hands, and if they're lucky, you. they get a horse. The war continues! I choose Oh! <laughs> 
into exile. I curse you and none of you. May you die in pain. And may your sons die in pain. Enough. And may they never eat your fruit. Take her away, uncle. Move. My son. Move. Get off me. With the death of the Earl of Warwick of Barney and Margaret Rossett, too. A nun said to take my death. I lost my father in these wars. Afterwards, my guardians, too. I've lost uncles, or cousins, friends. Defeat. Defeat means I get to live. But I still feel like I'm part of something. This time it isn't war. It's peace. And for 11 blissful years, we have peace! We have peace! But sometimes peace can only last for as long as one man's lifetime. Father! And there's a time window. So too did Edward Huff, and then Edward the Fourth, King of England, died. Father's death. Our world is shattered. My brothers do nothing but weep. I tell them to be strong, for they are next in line. Sweet boys, just twelve and nine. But Uncle Richard will take care of you. He will see the crown. Bring the princes to me. Uncle Richard? Uncle Richard? Uncle Richard! What, child? Why are you wearing my father? I am merely looking after it. But my brother must use it for his coronation. Or perhaps he is too young to be king. What? Children. Children. Would you like to be kings of England? You see, they do not wish it. My lord, they said yes. Shame, children. You are far too sweet and innocent to rule a country. No. Squire, take them somewhere safe. Send them. To the Tower of London! No! Uncle, what are you doing? My red brothers, please! No! no! I don't want to fight again! But when Richard locks up the princess, who is left but me? The other noble Lancastrians are all slain, and the next in line is the illegitimate grandson of a serf. So no. No, I don't want to fight, but our country is in disarray, and if I want us all to live in peace, well then I must wage war. Richard of York, I challenge you to the crown of England. You really think you 
can mess me. You petulant boy! I think we can try! I know him, yes, and you will die! Lord Stanley, now! Stanley! Ah! Oswald Field, uh, I've always uh, been a Yorkist, uh, but when my brothers are sent to the tower, they are never seen again. And for their sake, my uncle and his army cannot win. Lord Stanley again! Stanley, think of the princes, please, I implore you! Somerset, you fight with us, sir! What are you doing, Stanley? Many years. I've lost so much to this war. 
my father and my brothers. How many more must die for there to be peace? No. Oh, Siok, what say you? Should I accept Henry's request for marriage? Thank you, Russia. House Lancaster, what say you for peace? As loyal as ever, Lancaster. Very well, Henry. I will marry you on one condition. For oh, names. I cannot join Lancaster. Oh, and I will not join York. Instead, I propose we build a new house. One that unites the Red Rose and the White under one banner of everlasting peace. And it is agreed. House of Lancaster, House of York, let your battle cries now change into cheers of celebration. Remove the defences, for we have a new house. House Tudor. House Tudor takes the English throne. Their kings and queens rule England for more than a hundred years. It is an age of peace and prosperity, of art and literature, of travel and discovery. And to this day, the Tudor years are known as the golden age of England. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for celebration. So please welcome our Tudor trick riders.
your courage and your support in battle. Please will you join us for one final huzzah. Why for peace and the golden Tudor And ladies, if you enjoy... So this is the first time we've been up close to the Trebuchet since they have to actually fix in it. Because the show normally is over there somewhere, but yeah, we're dropping toward roses. Yeah, it's good. It's good, isn't it? It's it's some bits... Some of it's the same. We've got a couple of new bits in it. Yeah, but... It's, like it. it's all right, though, were not it? Really good. Yeah. Obviously, we stood in the disabled... We didn't actually stand in the disabled area as such, did we? We yeah. just stood along this bit down here, which was a lot quieter. As well, and we tend to, I think we've got to see more it's as well. It's on for longer this year, isn't it? Because it's on till September. September. It started May half term, though, didn't it? So I think the reason why it's nice and um, what, what it's busy here for, because you can see the weather's absolutely lovely. It's nice to sit in the uh, like sensory, like quiet zone, which is just there. What, just there? Yeah. 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 It is, because obviously you can stand there, or they have actually got disabled the there, which is further you've down got, there, but they've got, got picked. If you want more, it's got best to go there. It is. But anyway, like I was saying, this is, this is looking really, really good. What bit was broken? The sound bit, wasn't it? Was it the sound bit? The thick what yeah, the bit with flings. So obviously they've had, to, they've had to rebuild it from scratch, so... So we go on the West Falcons Quest now. It's really on the West Falcons Quest now then, yeah? Mm. Obviously, the dragons learned to fly um, for the other bit, was, was a bit down here before, wasn't it? But obviously, they've had to close that bit off now, so... I am, actually. The normal sort of thing is normally down here somewhere, isn't it? So, but yeah, anyway, um, we're going to let this... We'll get all these people go across the bridge for a little bit and then we'll head down to they're gonna get some, yeah, they're gonna get well, actually, we brought our pasta with us anyway as well. So we're gonna eat that with us. You know, it saves um spend out a fortune on food and stuff, what's their favour from yesterday as well. So let's put it on their backpacks so that'd be nice to have that on there, it's settled down a bit. Go on then Ben! We just got to year four of our Zog Trail here. Number five is over there on the camp, um, the grass thing. But anyway, come on then. Can you spot the princesses and work out what the letters spell? Don't forget to stamp your activity car below once complete. So go on then, sweetheart. Do you want to stamp them? Do you want mummy to stamp them? Mummy yeah, stamp so them. What is about them? The princesses with what the letters spell. This is what they mean there. So you've got a spell. What the letters are, Sam, we've got what letters have we got? We've got an R, we've got an E, we've got a P, an A, and an L. Okay, what does that spell? Hmm? I've got to work out what the letters are. So this is the year four dragons learn to capture a princess, which is as a this one um, over there. So year five is just over there, so we'll get that in a second. So and then yeah. and then we're all around the castle. Then. Yeah, and so we just learn. What if we just learn Sammy? What's coming here in the summer holidays? What? Horror histories. Horror histories show type thing. It's in the Woodland Theatre where we can meet Zog at the minute, where Zog's show is. So I don't know if that's going. We really do not know, but yeah. Or well, they might move the Zog show to somewhere else. They might move the Zog show somewhere else, actually, but yeah. Come on, Mr. Ben. Move it to a different place. You, what's the matter? The you got so brain freeze now after, it, <laughs> after having all those slushes. So you're not. You can hear. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, missed it. The so peacock. I love it when they put all their feathers up. Mm. You've got to run this way then, that's it. Run this way. So, yeah, so I don't know. It doesn't sit like I said. When you got here first, got here this morning, it seemed really, really busy. It seems to have started to settle down a bit now, doesn't it? So, anyway, yes. Yeah. So, anyway, we caught the tail end. Oh, we we'll go this way around, sweetheart. So, obviously, you can meet Zog there. So, I don't know if they'll probably put the show there, but it does have to cross that bridge. But we don't really watch Zog anyway, do we, Sammy? No. So, maybe Zog's too old here, boy. Yeah, the looks of me five's over there. And then we're going to get your pop badges for, for these ones and see what there is for these, yeah? Yeah, and then that's it then for Zog. Yeah, year five is over here isn't it this is where you've got prince what's his name prince gully had or something isn't it he does like a night school for the younger ones but 
you can actually go and get your pop from the nights and the French just shop down there which we're gonna do in a second but yeah so now it seems to have gone really really quiet now do you think so? War the roses is finished. No, War the roses is gone. What? Oh, there's a Trevor show on, is there? So we'll go down to that in a minute. Let's go and get this, and then we'll go down to the Trevor show. Oh, I don't know actually what's on actually in the centre as well. Again, um, not to watch how long the summer carnival's on for, but we said we'll probably come back in the next couple of weeks. So we want to go and see the same thing, don't you? The whole history show. So we'll do that, and hopefully. Um, the summer carnival is back on then and we can go do that. Oh. What? No, of course we don't. No, the travel day show is until November now. So, anyway, yeah, um, let's go and get these for Sammy. Year 5 dragons learn to fight. You got that in? Yeah, I think it's the last one. They got the dog and goose by here. There's not much to eat actually on site, so to speak actually inside they used to have pizza pasta didn't they they turned into like a costa type thing and um and then and then i got and then i got places to eat in the town of warwick yeah they have actually haven't they outside so, the castle yeah anyway look at the app yeah, we haven't actually been inside the castle yet i'm really quite surprised we haven't we haven't even been up there yet either but you don't need to do everything in one day do we anyway then sammy let's go and get our final stamp and it says on here Learn some skills with Sir Calabout and then don't forget to stamp your activity card once oh, completed. So, this is our last one. And now, stamp. Look at how they've done up here, put all the colour flags everywhere, didn't you? Um, let's go see what time next show is on here. Like I said, we know you've totally missed all the shows on here. So, again, we're going to come back up with Sammy to see all these as well. The main important part was seeing all the roses there, which we have done, and really pleased we've done that. So right, we've got a show on. Let's have a look. Um, Queen's Parade. What is the time anyway? I'm not too quite sure what the time is actually. There's no one here at half two ish. Just the workshop, one o'clock, which we miss. Yeah. <coughs> so I think the, I think the next show on here is half past two, which is the naval problem. Whatever that one is. Yeah. But anyway, um should we what do we do now then, darling? Alright, let's go. Let's go in the castle. We're going to the castle? Yeah, because I think there's not a bit there. This time I don't know too much sure if time towers open actually. I think it should be. And. What? Time tower's busy, though. Yeah, time tower's busy actually, isn't it? So anyway, we're going to pop inside the castle now, aren't we, Sammy? Yeah, I think. Then, you got that in? Then it might be open. I know, I know time tower's open, but it's busy at the minute, so yeah. It's nice, I do like how, do you like how they did all this? I know they did. But nice, nice you've got flowers everywhere. Why did yesters? They're normally round actually, normally, aren't they? But they're, they're probably on their lunch. Oh, are you there? Somebody over here. So you can say hello. Oh no, it's no, no, I'm just going to say hello anyway. When are you and me going to next come and climb those stairs? <laughs> Tell you what, they are a bit, like I said, that they are a bit of a killer to climb. They are, really are. Um, just looking at that big black cloud over there, though. Yeah. That's only an issue. Got the three jesters over here. They're not the normal ones here we normally away. go to, so. Finish going to play. Yeah. I know. Gonna... Can you make us down there? Because they've got the, obviously got the quiet hour on, haven't they? Obviously, that's one thing I'm really quite surprised we haven't done as well. It's gone for your family coat of arms. That's what that actually is. But yeah, we'll do to do Time Tower. Not Time Tower, we do Kim Maker Castle and hopefully we can catch one of the shows on here. See what that is. Can we go so, inside first, do Yeah, so we'll go inside the castle first. Yeah, yeah so I'm going to go inside the castle first, might as well. Are these fleet of flowers real? I wonder, are they fake? Oh no, they are. No, they're not they're not plasticky, they're like a rubbery type of thing, but they're definitely fake flowers anyway, so. Yeah, they've got some sort of tour. What's that? Talk of the day. Henry VIII and his six wives. Rhyme, reason, reality. Meet here at three o'clock. So it's good that they do do all these tours. These are the ones. Yeah, these are all the tours they do. Um, Ultimate Castle, Saintly Splendor, Grimsy Death and Executions. So yeah. There you go, Sammy. That's your tour you want to go on. You want to find about the ghosts. The Ultimate Ghost Tour, half past two. 
and someone called George talk of the day. Well, it's been, that'd be quite easy. Look, of all the rules this tour, it's a battle for the crown and the ultimate castle tour at four o'clock. So yeah, they do do some good ones and it's good that they're free. So if you want to find out history about the castle and stuff, you can always go on one of these. I'm really quite surprised we actually haven't, to be honest with you. Aren't you? Of course, if I don't go on one of these tours myself. Anyway, you can't sweetheart. I'm going to do Kim Maker first, yeah? So we're going to do Kim Maker first, then we're going to pop in the, then we're going to pop in the castle, have a look round. Oh no, I don't think nothing's changed in it, never does. Just about to go into the shop and see what they've actually got in here. Apparently, someone said they've actually do match and stuff. I know in one of the other shops we saw a hoodie and that sort of thing. But I think it's about 25 quid. Anyway, yeah, obviously, you've got to do like all the little jigsaw puzzles. Um, these little sog things here as well. Lots of medieval things. That's a nice little set. I do like that. Lots of some little key rings. These are quite nice for £4.50. Why is that day? I don't know where they are actually, Sita. Just they've got in here. Obviously, got like um, teddy bears. Little cups. You've got that cup. I think these feet are that one. Um, face masks and stuff, don't need face masks no, right, anymore. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to leave. You're ready to leave. Don't go and get, you, don't go and get them for me. Go get them and done if you want them. I've also got here pens and stuff, so it's just normal basic stuff you can actually find. So I'm not too quite sure where the hoodies are. I don't think they're upside down, they've got them in the inn. I tell you, I do want to have a look at so they've got any pin badges for my pins because obviously mm. I collect pins. Yeah, you found what you wanted, yeah. Well then SG fam, that brings Sunday's video to an end and yep that was the 2023 version of War of the Roses at Warwick Castle, yeah. It was the same show but with the added bang and a bit of different horse display at the end but otherwise it's the same show as it's always been. But yeah it's still good, very enjoyable to watch. It'd be nice to watch it from dead centre on the uh, on the stage instead of at the side but you know that can't be helped because of Ben but yeah but anyway we watched Falconer's Quest as well but we didn't record that off camera as you know you've seen that plenty of times and uh, the only thing we didn't watch today was the Trebuchet show and plus there was loads of other stuff going on as well which which is very strange for Warwick Castle because I've never known it to uh, have so much going on at one time which is very weird but yeah, we will go back again at some point, but we'll see when that will be. But anyway guys, like the video, comment down below, hit the subscribe button. We'll see you tomorrow. It's Monday, in the final two weeks before the school holidays. Bye guys. Before we do this, I need to know you're with me. Because this is the home of getting stuck in. So let's jump in feet first. And swim to a link way. There's no waiting on the sidelines. I'm looking at you, Gran. Let's go all in and never back out. And this, my friends, is where it starts. Are you ready to Butlins?